Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel and as you can see I am rocking a little bit of a different look because I am going skiing on Wednesday. I am so excited. I literally haven't been skiing in so long so I definitely don't know how I'm going to get on. I'm hoping I'll just be able to pick it up but the reason I'm just literally stood in my house with my whole gear on is because I'm just trying on outfits because I'm about to pack all my stuff and I feel like I don't even know where to start to be honest so the place that I am starting is trying on the outfits and hoping that these all look cute together and then I can sort of organize them before I pack them so I just wanted to do this kind of video to show you how I pack so obviously for skiing it's a little bit different because everything's a little bit more big and bulky and you have to pack so many layers so I feel like this is probably going to be a struggle for me because I feel <laughs> because I'm seriously known as the suitcase kid like before when I was living in the Midlands, I'd always be living out of a suitcase, going back and forth to London and obviously on trips and stuff. So I am pretty much a pro at living out of a suitcase, but haven't done it for skiing in a while. And I just feel like there's so many things to remember, like gloves, glasses, ski goggles, boots, thermals, like loads of the good skincare that I'm going to need. Like, I, I don't honestly feel like nowhere to start. I feel like I keep saying that, but... I'm stressing out but I'm gonna do this video and hopefully it'll be helpful if you guys are going skiing and sort of like my little tips and tricks on how to pack and what I'm taking with me so yeah I'm gonna try on these outfits I'll show you some of the pieces that I'm taking because I've actually been kind of gifted loads of pieces from some of my favorite brands so I'll show you them on before I organize and so this is the first look that I'll show you and it is all of the new Topshop ski gear so it's called snow and it is so lush like they have seriously nailed it they've brought out so many good pieces for skiing like i feel like if you need to go skiing and get some gear that is your like one stop shop to go they've just literally covered all the cute pieces that you need because i feel like when you're skiing you obviously still want to look cute but you need to be practical as well so with this i have got the little bodysuit on with which has the logo here which is quite cute and it has this sort of like neon green piping going through it, if you can see. And it's obviously got the white and black contrast. And then it comes high up here in the neck to keep you warm. And then over this, I have got these sexy silhouettes. Is that the way to say it, silhouettes? I'm going to call them silhouettes or trousers, just in case I get it wrong. Um, and then obviously it's got the logo again and this green going through it. So this actually goes really well together. And then these are the trousers. They're actually a really nice fit. So I'm wearing a size 8. And as you can see, they come like quite skinny on the bottom obviously I will not have my feet out I'll have like loads of ski socks on and my boots and stuff but yeah I just wanted to show you these on because they honestly fit really nice and I feel like when you're skiing the key is to be comfortable and this outfit I just feel so comfy in obviously I won't just be wearing this I'll be wearing a jacket over the top so I'll show you some of the other looks as well and these glasses I've got on I feel like the camera's not focusing. Here we go. These glasses I've got on are from Quay Australia. And this hat is actually Topshop, but it was a few years ago. But I'll try and find it similar and link it down below. And of course, all the pieces that I do show you will be linked down below. So you can shop them because I just think they're so cute. And hopefully they still have good stock in the sizes. I also wanted to show you another outfit that you can put underneath your pets or trousers and jacket and it is this all in one again from the Topshop Snow Range it's got the logo here comes up high neck with this zip and then it's the same sort of pattern with the black and white contrast and the little sort of neon pipe and go through it but this is honestly so comfortable I feel like I literally just want to live in this so yeah this is obviously going to go underneath my ski gear and then if we go to like apre I'll obviously have my trousers just take my jacket off and then you have this showing over the top I'm actually wearing the size 8 but I kind of wish I got the size 6 because it comes a little long on the length and it goes a little bunched here that's just because it's a little too big on me I think just because of my height I'm quite small in the height so maybe a 6 would have fit more perfect but then I'll probably be thanking myself for getting the 8 for the fact I'll want to just be comfy and have loads of room in it instead of it being too tight to me but yeah with this i'd probably say true to size or maybe downsize a little only if you're short in the height though because it's only here that it goes a little bit but probably one of my favorite looks and this is also from the top shop snow range so these are the cellar pets and again they've got these straps so i just wanted to quickly show you them underneath but this is also the matching jacket so i'm going to quickly zip this up because i can't do it whilst holding the camera and then show it you as well okay so i've just quickly put this jacket on and done it all up so you can see it 
but I absolutely love this. This is more of like a gilet jacket. It hasn't got the sleeves to it. They do do this with the sleeves as well, so I'll list that down below in case you want it. But I've just put this jumper underneath. I might even wear like a plain cream jumper or even a black one, but I just thought this goes quite nicely. And then it comes in here with about the same as the ski suit, which is really flattering. And again, I got this in a size 8, so all the pieces basically that I'm wearing are a size 8 just because I wanted to have a little bit of room in them. And then I love the fact that this matches with my hat, the little white faux fur, and then the matching trousers as well, which is so nice, the fact that they're like this cream and nude, which is kind of like a little bit different for ski gear, because a lot of it is normally just like white or black, but I like the fact that this has got the nude going through it. It is very me, and again, I got the trousers in a size 8, but I'm so excited to wear this on the slopes. I feel like this might be my outfit on the first day, like, you know, you're just ready to wear it. Also, the quality of these pieces are just so nice. So inside here, if I undo this jacket and show you. Oh, I'm so hot. You can see it's got all the fastenings inside to keep you, to keep it together and keep you warm. And it's also got loads of little pockets inside as well here. So you can put like lip balm, your phone, and just keep it stored safe. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. It's kind of like this netted pocket. And also on this side, which is really good. So I'm just loving this Topshop snow gear. I feel like they've absolutely smashed it with their range. So as well as the sort of two-piece sets, like the trousers and the tops and the all-in-one fab and the all-in-one sort of thermal, I've also got this all-in-one ski suit from Topshop, and this is just so lush. It just looks so sleek and I love the fact it's just all black and it's got the white faux fur hood here and then I've just matched it with this white hat that is actually from Topshop a few years ago. Sorry guys, I feel like my hat just lasts me ages so I'll try and find it similar because I love this one with the two little pom-poms but this ski suit will definitely still be on the website so I'll link it below, hopefully it isn't sold out. I got this in a size 8 and probably usually a 6 but I wanted to get the 8 because I wanted like a little bit more room underneath my thermals and I'll probably wear that all-in-one thermal suit under here because I think it'll just go perfectly although if I do need the bathroom that is going to be a bit of an issue <laughs> if I wear both all-in-ones a little holes here for your hands I just haven't put them in because obviously I'm trying to hold the camera and then it's got the belt here that brings you in around the waist and it's just really flattering and it's got so many zips and like pockets so you can just store loads of stuff in this but yeah this is my favourite and when I was like trying them on this is definitely Chris's little favourite this all in one suit and I think it's just easy to pack because then you don't have to pack a jacket and trousers you've just got a whole outfit going on here. So these next few pieces were actually kindly gifted to me through Dare to Sports and they've just done a collaboration with Julian McDonald so this is their whole collection with him so this is the ski jacket and then obviously it's got this little fur hood I got this in a size 8 and then underneath I've got the sort of like thermal jacket on it's got the little dare to be sign here and then I've also got the trousers on so these are a very different fit to the Topshop ones so as you can see they come really low here like they're below my belly button whereas the Topshop ones literally come like high waist so they're kind of like a drop low trouser um, and then they go down here and flared and they've got this sort of detailing on I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up it's like this vinyl detail going down the side and then also the little Julian McDonald dare to be sort of collaboration sign here on the belt as well so yeah this is the look together so it's literally like an all black look and then I'd wear it with this hat but I am so hot wearing this in the house I feel like I'm working up a sweat but I wanted to show you all the pieces, so I'll find the links for this hopefully and link it down below for you guys so you can shop it as well and I'll show you the other pieces that I've got. This is pretty much the same outfit but basically in the white version and it's got the black and white contrast and again it's this sort of vinyl detailing for the sort of signature of Julia McDonald's range and then the white fur hood, obviously you would wear it done up and over your head but I'm so hot I honestly can't bear to do this jacket up right now but it's actually got this really cute detail in here which is this like crisscross um, of the elastic obviously that brings you in tight so it's nice and fitted and then I've just got the same thermal top underneath that I'd match with it and then the trousers are the same fit as well so they come like quite low drop here but under your belly button and then they're in white they've got the vinyl going on the little belt again and they go quite flared at the bottom. So this is actually a really cute set. I'm just trying to figure out what sets I'm gonna take because as it stands, I have too many, which I'm very grateful for, but I need to just sort of figure out my outfits. 
because I definitely know I'm not going to be able to pack all of these. I feel like Chris is going to have a heart attack when he sees how much I'm packing because bless him, he's only got one pair of ski trousers he's taken, one jacket and then he'll just take layers. And I also wanted to show you these snow boots that I got from dare to be which they've kindly sent to me. So I just think these will be so practical when I'm just wanting to walk around in the snow or even in the evening. I like the fact they're quite sleek and just all black and they're not too big and chunky. And then they've just got the logo going on here at the back. But yeah, they're quite They've got like a thick sole here, but they're not too high up and not too chunky as I said I'm a size 5 and these fit perfectly So I think I'm just gonna wear these like in the evening when we're like running around the bars and stuff And obviously if there is thick snow, I won't be able to wear like I won't be able to wear my usual shoes So these are definitely going to be needed and hopefully I'll be able to find a link and put them below for you But I have also ordered the moon boots off Amazon So I'm hoping they arrive so I can show you and they're a little bit chunkier So I'll have two different options and then I also got the matching dare to be gloves So I definitely needed these because I was kind of panicking that I had no gloves and these arrived today at last minute So these are the proper glee these are proper ski gloves, sorry, I can't get my words out. Let's see what it says here. Waterproof material, reflective detailing. So yeah, it's obviously got the logo on here and then this little pattern, but I just wanted them pretty plain and black so they'll match with all my different looks. Okay, so, so I've started to lay my ski outfits, like with the thermals and stuff, on the bed so I can see what I've got. And then I've literally just got my big suitcase out of the shed outside. So this is actually antler, it's so good. And then I've also got the matching little one to take on the plane which is perfect so i've got matching luggage um i've just set up this so i can show you guys of me packing because it's just got so dark outside and also as i literally was just saying before i was waiting on my moon boots to arrive the doorbell well the doorbell rang and amazon delivered these moon boots so i actually ordered them off amazon i think they're normally like 200 pound and I got them on, on Amazon for like 55 or like 59. I'll link them down below because they're still on there. And they had them available in my size. But as you can see, these are so chunky. But yeah, I thought these were obviously a way better price than paying full whack for them. So as you can see the difference, these are really chunky compared to these kind of boots. So I'm not sure which ones I'm going to need the most. I've laid out all my ski outfits and then now I'm going to sort out sort of like jumpers and leggings and stuff that I'm going to wear also in the evening and figure out how I'm going to pack it all and then I've got my accessories and stuff it won't over there. Go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best So I've gotten distracted <laughs> and decided to try on Chris's um, ski goggles So these are like Oakley ones He brought these I think when he went skiing last time he said just trying to get used to the ski goggle look but I'm actually borrowing mine from my friend Amy I'm going to pick them up tomorrow because I don't have a pair oh my god he must have a big head because it's like slipping off mine so basically I've managed to pack all of I need to take these goggles off so I can't see so I've managed to pack all of like the main ski stuff in here and I've packed them in their outfits literally just sort of like folded them and where there was like a gap underneath is where I put like the big hoods so this actually fits okay on here and then I'm gonna tie this up with the straps that it has this suitcase is so good for all the little compartments and then in here I've put my hats, sunglasses and gloves and then I'm gonna pack also some of Chris's stuff in here because we're actually sharing this big case so his ski goggles and then bless him, like this is what he's got down here so far. So he's not going to take up much room. So I'm going to pack that for him. And then I also have this case, which I'm going to think I put like my comfy clothes in and my nighttime outfits in. And then in the rest of here, I've just put my moon boots in here for now. Obviously all of our toiletries need to go in here. So I'll show you what toiletries I'm taking. But I'm just really debating if I need to take both of these boots or not. But we'll see, we'll see what I can pack because I still have another case and he's also taking on a carry case too. I've moved on to the carry-on case. I've just put my knickers in here, I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. And then I've started to put my other stuff in here, like these are my PJs. I've just sort of like rolled them up and then I'm putting together my outfit that I'll travel home in. 
putting in some like comfy sets and then these are going to be the stuff that I wear in the evening so I've just sort of packed like comfy jumpers and cardigans and then I'm going to patch it with like leather trousers and these leather trousers that are new from Zara I featured them in my Zara haul so I'll link that on the screen so you guys can see and then I'm just going to take these boots for the evening I've had these for a while actually, they're from River Island and I love them, they're just kind of like this combat style boot so I thought something like this in the evening, just like a chunky boot because obviously I will not be wearing heels like this with leather trousers and jumper is the sort of vibe I'm going for because I don't think I'm going to be going major dressy but I basically got to fit all of this in here plus my bags which I've just realised, I have got this Cole Lagerfeld backpack that I think I'm going to take maybe I will travel wearing this just because I feel like I need a backpack maybe when skiing or if to have like an over the shoulder kind of bag I don't know I'll figure that out after I'll figure out like the accessories but for now I'm just doing the main base of clothes pants and yeah and my ski stuff is packed just got to get the thermal layers in there in so the we're making progress on your body so tell me tell me what you want me to do i can be good or be not in rid of a few of the outfits maybe I was just overpacking a little bit but I've managed to fit in my comfy wear to travel home in and my nighttime outfits in here and then on this side it's a little bit bulging I'm thinking I might wear this to travel in this big card because it's so thick I've just put my backpack and shoes in here for now I'm not sure what else will need to go in here apart from uh, maybe another bag like accessories in here and then that So I've sort of laid out my toiletries of what I need and I'll quickly talk you through them. So this is my big toiletry bag. I always take it everywhere with me. It is so cute. It's from Skinny Dip. A lot of my like toiletry bag and makeup bags are from there. They do really cute stuff so I'll link it down below. So I'm taking this because I will 110% need this. It is the Elizabeth Arden. Prevage and it's the City Smart. So this has actually got SPF 50 in. It's antioxidants, anti-pollution. So basically it kind of has like... I don't want to pump it out because I don't want to waste it. But kind of like a BB cream if it focuses. You'll see it's a little bit brown. So when you put it on the skin, it gives you a nice little base. So I don't even think I'll wear like foundation on most days. I'll just have this on my skin. And then I'm also taking this. This is just like an SPF 8 hour cream stick. So I also smother this on my lips and like under my eyes and my nose area. I love this. I use it all the time in the summer. I have it in my bag. And then obviously going on a ski trip it's perfect just to fit in my jacket when I'm skiing. And I actually use these capsules every day. They're the vitamin C capsules. This comes in like a cute little pot. But I found this that I have, and it's like even a smaller part, but these are different capsules. So I'm going to empty these and put these in instead, because these ones are my favourite, and put them in here so it doesn't take up too much room in my toiletry bag, which I think is a cute little part. I use the Tan Look Super Glow, I always use that. So once I've done my skincare, I'll put this on in the evening, just to give me a little bit of a tan on my face. I take my makeup off using the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. Live for this product, it is insane. I just don't use makeup wipes anymore, I just use this and it is so, so good. And then I'll just take some of these with me, but I'm sure they might have some at the hotel anyway, just to take off. I use that to take it off. And I go in with this serum, it's the L'Octane Reset Night Serum. It is so good, it's just been using it recently the past few weeks and I've seen a real difference in my skin. When I wake up, I just look glowing. 
so i feel like i am going a little bit overboard but everyone says like when you're skiing you really need to take care of your skin so i'll use that and then i always use this in the evening this is my night cream it's the plumping pillow facial it's just so nice it feels like a um like cooling when you put it on your skin so that's elemis and then i use this morning and night it's my foreo cleanser i'll link it down below because i i, I don't know what i'll do without this now like my skin has changed so much I've never really had bad skin but I can just see a difference from using this like really deeply cleans your skin and I use this cleanser with it the fresh soy face cleanser I just love this it doesn't really have like a smell to it or anything like that it just really gently cleans your face so and I'm also taking this favorite product of mine from Elemis it's the rose hydro mist so I'm actually going to take this when I'm skiing on the mountains just to keep my face hydrated because i feel like it's going to get so dry up there so this will be perfect for that and it comes in this cute little bottle i always have my cellar cleansing water i normally just use it in the morning to like remove any oil and then my favorite charlotte tilbury eye cream the magic eye rescue this is insane i featured this in my charlotte tilbury makeup review so i'll leave that on the screen so you can watch it and also the magic cream which i use every morning it just really helps with like plumping your skin and gives you a glow then of course I have my deodorant and then I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream so this just works everywhere if you've got like dry skin around your nose, you've got chapped lips or you put this like under your eyes it just really treats it. This just basically works on everywhere like Chris always uses this as well, he loves it. So I've just got a new bottle so I'm going to take that with me because I know I'll use that and then also... I'm taking this and I feel like anyone that goes skiing needs this. So it's the Elemis Instant Refreshing Gel. Basically, you put it on your muscles and it like helps revive them. So like if you've got aching muscles, I did this the night after the gym on Friday. My, you know, and your legs just feel like really achy. I did this and it just gives it like a tingling sensation. And it honestly takes away the pain of aching muscles. So if you look here for tired legs, massage with upward motions can be applied over tights for tense arms, neck and shoulders, massage and circular motions. So it's like on those areas that get really tense, which definitely will happen with skiing with my legs and like probably like my bum and everywhere else. So I'm going to take this and hopefully this will help a lot. And then I've just got my miniature shampoos and conditioners that I had stocked away. So I thought I'd just take these ones. They're from Lee Stafford. I've got a little um, hairspray. So I'm going to put all my hair things in this little bag. This is actually from Space NK. It's really cute. If I can find a link for it, I will. Because if I go travelling with just a carry-on, I always take this because it's clear and it can go through security. And then let's have a look in here. What else I need? I probably just need like some dry shampoo or something. And that's it for my toiletries. And I might just take a night. Um, pillow spray to help me sleep at night because I never find that I sleep right when I'm staying somewhere else. Oh, actually, I might take these because I prefer Aussie. Um, I always use Aussie shampoo and conditioner. See, so yeah, I'm going to take these ones. Right, that's all my toiletries packed in there. I'm not going to put it in my case yet because I don't go for another day, so I need them. And then I've put my hair things in here. I just need to put my dry shampoo in, and I'll just put like bobbles and hair clips and stuff in here so I know it's all in one place. And my hairbrush. And then down in here, I kind of sorted it out the other day a bit of my makeup. This is only like a bit of it. I need to have a proper clear out. But um, I've already sort of put like my main makeup pieces in my bag and then these are my makeup brushes. So I'll take these as well. I'm just gonna clear this out because I probably won't need this much makeup at all. I'm gonna be wearing like minimum just so it's not so bulky. Then yeah, and then my brushes and this actually matches this bag which is cute so i'll link them down below if i can but that is pretty much everything all i need to pack now is like ski socks and like accessories like my bags and stuff but i feel like i've done a pretty good job actually and it's so all for the last step of packing i thought i'd show you what i take on my little carry-on case so this is actually really good it comes with the antler case and it attaches here so I can just take these on the plane together. So obviously all my stuff's in there, like my nighttime stuff and my comfies. And then in here is the stuff that I generally need access to. So I'll quickly show you what I've got in here. So I've got my lap, hold on, I'll try and open it up a little bit more. So I've got my laptop in this little side compartment. I love this bag because it's got loads of little um, compartments which you can put different stuff in. I've got our passports in here. We're taking a big water bottle. I always use this by the way. It's so good for like tracking how much you're drinking and I just thought we could put this in our backpack for on the slopes. And then I've got my headphones in here, my mini little tripod, my glasses for when I'm using my laptop and my phone all the time so I'll be editing some videos whilst I'm out there. And then I've got my little portable charger. This is so good. I'll link it down below 
it focuses there we go it's actually from skinny dip so i'm taking this with me and it's just so like slim that it will fit in my ski jacket just so i know that my phone has always got charged i'm going to put that in that little compartment then what else have we got in here and then in this pocket here so this bag is basically all electronics and then in here i've got my chargers and adapters and all my little chargers for like my phone and to charge like the portable charger and stuff like that and then i'm not sure what else i've packed in here I think that's pretty much it for now so i've got my laptop basically all my electronics and my filming stuff and basically my camera chargers so this is what i take and then obviously this will be full of snacks when we go on the plane oh and also i need to pack just remembered i need to pack my book i'm currently reading a harry potter book so i'm gonna pack that so i have definitely overpacked i've got this whole suitcase full literally there must be like three items of chris's in here bless him and then i've got this little carry-on case and the bag that i just showed you so i'm pretty much all packed we're gonna get um to bed now because it's quite late and we've got to be up at literally the crack of dawn flight's really early in the morning so good night for now but i hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a like and i'll come back and do a lot more different packing videos like when i take on just a carry-on case and packing for like summer trips and stuff like that but yeah till next time guys i'll see you then